Thursday night football from the W League is back again with the Battle of the West. Two sides who want to go north. Western Sydney and Perth hold up the ladder, but is it a false reading? Envy is the word that comes to mind for me because my backyard looks nothing like this. She did, that's well read. At the back by Liz Anton and Baker can have a go. She decides to have a go as well and Willis is diving to her right. There's a bit of panic there for the Wanderers keeper. Really good from Baker. Willisie just getting her feet a little tied up. It wasn't helped. The ball, the intercept was terrific. The ball wasn't great. The momentum stops. But Baker thinks, you know what, I'll reignite the whole thing and shoot from distance. It was a really good effort. Willisie, you'd have to say, relieved in the end. That was probably an effort that had actually beaten the keeper with her unfortunate footwork, luckily for the Wanderers. The ball slightly off target. Great effort. Norman Dale reads that one. Took a heavy touch. It went straight back to Moreno. The futsal feet there. And oh, a lovely ball. So Perth are in here. Big chance. Big chance. Hannah Lowry. Unfortunately, a heavy touch at the worst possible time. Look at this from Moreno. Beautiful. And then sets the defence up delightfully with that square ball, that ball through the square defence. And unfortunately for Perth, it falls on Hannah Lowry's right foot, not a left. Great start from Moreno. And Cooper steps up. Furthest forward, she's been all game. Caitlin Cooper, thinking about it all the way. Through to Russell. First meaningful shot on target for Wanderers. And it's a goal. A huge goal for the home side. Well, this play almost caps off the resurgence of Caitlin Cooper. Been excellent the last few weeks. Beautiful. Look at her sizing up the space, the opportunities. With the head up, carried the ball into space. Beautiful positioning to support from Russell. Tanisha! Not sort of experimenting, but seeing where different players are at and what sort of combinations you can craft. Libby Cooper's Brown about to pinch the ball now. And have a shot and gets it on target. She's done it again. Lily Alfeld, who wasn't expecting that. Terrific effort. Very, very intelligent player, Libby Copas Brown. And I think she's found her feet now as a wanderer and certainly playing as a deep lying midfielder. Great work from Coach Heffern and he's shuffled Georgie Yeoman Dale around. There's a lot of space here for Julianne Russell. Yeah, Della Hart was upfield looking to join in. Russell, one on one with Carroll. Goes back, uses the left to cross the ball, and somehow it hasn't ended up in the back of the net. Well, lucky for Perth. I don't know how many lives are left. Copas Brown. Look at this setup from the uh, the set piece. At the top, everyone breaks. Yeoman Dale in the middle. Shot from uh, Russell, I think it is. Georgie Yeoman Dale doesn't really make the contact, but it ends at the feet of Russell, and it was probably Lowry onto the keeper and out. So the bunch at the top of the box again. This time they elect to go back and curling one. Alfeld decided to palm when she maybe could have caught the ball. It's still alive. And what do you know, Tash Rigby is there to somehow flick it away. Well, that was questionable, but thereafter, just blocked everything, threw a frame in the way, saw the danger off somehow. Corner from uh, Copas Brown over everyone onto the head of Henry. It's still there. It's headed off the line by Carroll. It's still up in the air. And out for another corner. Well, it's another bullet dodged from the glory. Cooper decided to go forward. Yeoman Dale eventually got on the same page and off she goes. Cross ends up being a 50-50. Looked like a shirt tug on Libby Copas Brown, and again she rattles the woodwork. Alfell got a little piece of it as well. Libby Copas Brown gets the shot away again. Oh, Rosie Galea, go for glory, or just into the corner? No, up near the scoreboard. The net's there, but there's no more time for anything else. And Wanderers, finally, for the first time since early January, have a win. I want to make this late season surge. Getting all three points tonight was critical, and they've done just that thanks to a well-taken goal from Julianne Russell. Well, might she smile? And same for all her teammates. Long time coming, full time.
Marconi, Western Sydney 1, Perth Glory nil.